What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Final Fantasy XV. When we left off in the last episode, we finally got the car fixed, which is great. It's so much nicer than running on foot. That was very annoying. Um, luckily, the game doesn't really make you wait all that long. Alright, um, I'm assuming if I... Oh, okay, I can just hit X and it'll park. Okay. That whole manually drive thing is a little well, deceptive. So that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. Right, you got a problem with my driving, Ignis? Select the destination from the list of locations, and Ignis will drive there using the shortest route. However, Ignis will not drive while demons are out at night. Noctis takes the wheel. Scared to drive at night? Is that it? Okay, I still want to kind of change the paint, because, I mean, I know this was like the, the pre-order bonus and everything, but it just kind of looks a little derpy with the characters on the side. <laughs> I kind of like the jet black look. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay. So this is where we're supposed to drop off. We all off came the... all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. It's probably drugs or something illegal. I don't know why, but just no one wants me to get in the trunk. I find it suspicious. Oh. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> Just a sec. That's a cool looking dog. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. Oh, they have so, matching dogs. How cute. I have a favor to ask. Uh oh. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. So this is like passing notes on steroids, I guess? What will you write? Finally going to see you after all these years. Got it. Just left Crown City. Um... Probably that one. I'm guessing. I mean, the other two are a little... Like, got it. That's kind of a little messed up. <laughs> I mean... You're supposed... To, he is supposed to be, like, marrying the girl after all. All set. Take care out there. That's an awesome looking dog. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Golden Quay. Where am I? Oh, what is this? Quest. Uh, hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio. Who the heck is that? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The head hunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? <sighs> Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Side quests are separate adventures that do not progress the story. Check side quest destinations. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly like that says regalia delivery service on the side or anything. I'm just saying. All right, fine. <sighs> All right, so this is a blockade, which I'm guessing will not let my car through. Uh, where exactly is this? Okay, so that's the main objective, I guess. So where's the side one? Or is that just around here somewhere? Quest. Let's try and read this. Okay, so it's like, well, hunting is a hazardous business in many... So it's having us... I think it's right here. Noctis must track down the headhunter himself to make a special delivery. Track down sounds like I don't know where I'm going, which I'm not really a fan of at the moment. Huh? I mean... 
if we happen to know where it was, that would be a little different. And also, do we really want to go... I don't know that we want to... I don't know that we have the fuel to make it all the way to... What's its... What's a place? Galden. Oh. It's only 1.5 miles. Yeah, that should be fine. Never mind. Look further on the map. Alright, let's try auto then. Parking spot, quest location, map point. Quest location. Oh, well, that's cool. And I think it's in order. I think it's in two yep. minutes. All right. Like it gives you a time. Oh, and it gives you a little marker up top. Oh, that's really cool. I really like that. Hey, Knox. Why don't we sleep there? For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. A ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. <laughs> and Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? <laughs> I do? Buzz off. <laughs> you gotta love the, the bromance going on of them just giving him a hard time. But... So he's actually marrying the priest or oracle. I was gonna say priestess, but uh, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm still not. I'm still kind of getting familiar with the. Hey, I see the sea. I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kind of want to go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And savor the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. But yeah, I'm still kind of getting used to the cultural, political setup and everything, so I'm not entirely sure what exactly the Oracle is doing. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory. It's an Oracle, right? I mean, they're always some kind of fortune teller, predictive type person. But I'm not really sure how it translates into this situation I still. I stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What yeah. do you mean for a change? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and refuel while we're at it. So that <sighs> I don't forget to do that later. And they're probably right. I probably should stock up on potions and things. <clears throat> not really sure how many of each thing and whatnot I can carry. But I suppose it is worth a dip in the shop. Take a look at our wares. Okay, there's weapons. War sword, that's cool. Bangled forge of bronze increases my... Oh, that's what I have. Okay, soldier's anklets. Enhances vitality slightly. Enhances spirit slightly. I don't see any potions, though. Unless that's not who I should be talking to. Oh, I can sell him potions and whatnot. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's soundtracks and stuff to find. Oh, that's cool. Hey, come again. <sighs> he didn't have any potions to sell, though. Unless there's... Shops or something that I'm missing. I don't think there are, though. Um, let me check real quick. No, that's not really what I was looking for. Skills, items, maybe items. Check. Okay, so in this, can I like equip or unequip? 
Or do I have to... I think I have to go to Cindy at the garage to actually do all of that stuff. Leisure goods. I don't know what any of this stuff is at the moment. Um, and in case anyone was wondering, I probably should have mentioned it earlier. Uh, I do actually have in my inventory from pre-ordering the Mas Masa bleh, Masamune, I think is how it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't know. I probably butchered that. Which is a really cool looking sword. I don't want to use it at the moment. I know that might sound a little weird, but it's basically kind of my fairness clause thing in my head internally. That, um... I basically, since you're not, like, already supposed to have something that strong in the game, I don't really want to use it yet. It's kind of one of those... First time I play through something, I like to kind of keep the experience authentic, if you will. Or well, maybe this guy's a shop. Hello oh. and welcome. Okay, this is where I was supposed to buy stuff. Got it. Now, I don't know if there's a limit to any of this or if it's just how many you can afford. I think it's just how many you can afford. Custom decal set with monster theme for people who are mad, bad, and born to be wild. <laughs> It's funny. Okay, there's the soundtrack stuff. We, we hope to see you again. I think we're good on all that stuff at the moment. This is a really cool looking place though. It looks very uh beach resort type of thing. Uh, I already want my car again. Can I just drive my car out here? I mean, that would kind of make me look like a really jerkish prince, though, right? It's like, oh, this is just too much work. Welcome to Golden Key. I'm just gonna drive out here. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. Why? And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> nice. What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, <sighs> no way he's unimportant. <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, although I won't discount the possibility. I was gonna say, let's I go say find we out. go check it out for ourselves. Only way we'll know is to go ask. Is amazing. Well, you can't beat this. Appreciate it. This is all really cool looking, actually. Read, what is that? Uh, it's a bit of Okay, Titan, Ramon, Shiva, Leviathan, but what? I guess that's why do those names all sound familiar? This bites. Those might be summons or something? Huh. Perhaps. Today's ferry out of service. Out of service indeed. Well, boo. Ah, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? Hmm. That seems rather suspicious. According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. The Crown Prince of Lucis, bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you mm -hmm. want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. Um... Yeah... Bright whatever you want, dude. I don't really care. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. Why? The sound of tacit agreement. Here. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones. 
like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? What's the big deal about the prince bounty hunting? Uh, he's really got your number, Knox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. You know what? I think fish is my new I'm kind of just confused as to why that's actually a big deal. Because that doesn't strike me as a big deal. I mean, if he was, like, out... You know, doing like killing people and burying them in his backyard or something. Yeah, that's definitely something that would be like, uh, dude, we don't we don't want him as a prince. But bounty hunting was helpful. Hey, buddy. I don't get it. What's up? Taking a little stroll? Yeah. How come you're all alone? Yeah. You must be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Um. Gotta come up with some cat food. Could yeah. always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. Oh, okay. Noctis can fish at docks around Lucius. I think that's how they say that. Try angling from a fishing spot around the Vanath coast. Okay, can I like just fish right here? Is that a thing? I don't see an option. Hmm. I don't see it on the map. Maybe that over there is a spot I could do, I could use. Oh, wait, what is this? Stuff. Stuff and things. I don't know what I need yet, so I'm just picking up everything. <laughs> That's pretty much how I play these. It's just kind of like, um... When you, when you jump into, like, a big open world game like this, it's just kind of like, uh... I don't know what's useful yet, so let me just take everything. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. Uh-oh. Oh, love the lighting. <laughs> I thought they were going to do some kind of posing minigame, and I was just going to, like, freak out. Okay. Um... Nope, that's stuff. I was hoping that was a spot. I don't actually see one. I'm kind of surprised. Because you would think if you can fish, the docks would be the good place. Orienting checkpoint. That's it! What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. What brought that on? Is it something I read? Kenny and Kelly Crow say only you can keep our nest safe. Talk to our local tipster and join the hunt today. Interesting. Like this over here or that over there. Either of those should be a good fishing spot. But I don't see any markers on the map. Hmm. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, we don't need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. <laughs> ah, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Ah. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Huh. Ah. Okay. You've discovered a fishing spot. Here, Noctis can indulge in his favorite pastime. Choose where to cast your lure with the left stick. The marker will indicate when fish are near your target. Okay, so cast, aim, tackle. Check the minimap to find a good spot and press X to cast your target. Oh, I see on the minimap. I gotcha. Move your lure by pressing R2 to reel it in and tilting to work the rod. A fish is eyeing your lure. Entice it up to bite by mixing up your reeling speeds. Okay. You gotta bite. Quickly tilt up in the indicated direction to hook the fish. Or the left button. Okay, the fish is trying to get away. Tilt in the direction to ease out the line tension. 
Oh, wait. <gasps> Press R2 to reel in the reel the fish in and wear down its stamina. When the fish is all out of stamina, you can pull it in. Oh, and I gotta watch the tension, too. Ooh. Don't let the line break. When the tension starts blinking red, stop reeling and give the line some slack. Job knocked. What is that? Glowing barrel fish. Okay. Congratulations, you landed a fish. Some fish are edible while others are prized. How do I know the difference exactly? Okay, move on. The color of of a fish on the minimap indicates its yield. The yellow dots represent edible fish. Oh, I have only blue dots. The rarer the fish, the better the ingredient or treasure it provides. By honing Noctis's fishing skills and acquiring new tackle, you can reel in real whoppers and reap the rewards. So they're all blue, though. So does that mean none of them are edible? Because I kind of need fish food. Or, I mean, cat food. Are you just trying to impress us? Hell no. Fishing in you real life were that easy. <laughs> okay. That's pretty awesome, though, the whole conjuring weapon thing works on fishing rods, too. Now, let me double check and see how that affects our quest. Noctis comes upon her to reel in fish, feed the famished feline. Okay, so I think I should be able to do that now? Maybe, but I'm not 100% sold on the whole glowing barrel fish thing being edible. That's something I need to investigate. Gosh, I want to like a, a hover, a conjuring hover bike or something <laughs> for these in-between segments. Or a uh, perk to increase running speed or something. It's just, it's mainly because even some of these areas that aren't like roads, but they're foot road or they're foot areas where you're supposed to only be running, they're they're still just kind of big. So it takes a while to get anywhere. All right, let's see if we can feed this thing. Nope, doesn't like my glowing fish. Fine, ya picky cat be that way. See if I care. Alright, now according to that little tooltip thing that we saw, I don't think Ignis will drive at night, which I'm pretty sure it's technically considered night. Unless it's about to be day. I'm still trying to figure out that um, counter up in the top left corner of the minimap. What is this marker here? Unless that's just a parking spot. Use the pump to refuel when gas is running low. Got it. We've been on the move all night. Perhaps we should find a place to rest nearby. Not a bad idea. Yeah, sounds good. Um, I will get on that as soon as we do this guy's quest and get this reporter off her back. Yeah, so it says manual. It's rather dark out. You sure you can handle this? I can see fine. Take a load off for a while. I 
I wonder if it always goes kind of like on its own track thing, or if you actually do possess the ability to like run it off the road. Was right crash. About your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. I wanted to see where this. Okay, it's along the road. Glad it's not weighing me down. I wasn't sure if we could get there by going on the road or if I needed to go off-road or not. Oh, that was a deposit thing. Okay, now we should be on the right track. For going where we need to go. You can fast travel to any parking spot you visit. Oh! That's useful. Now you tell me. Well, at least we'll be able to get back that way. We won't have to go forward. Or won't have to drive back, I mean. Alright. So right about... You sure Break we're check. in the right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. Something about this... Should be a nice change of pace. Something about this just seems fishy to me. I mean, A, I don't really like that guy to begin with. But like that. Probably why I'm feeling a little fishy. No way we're taking that thing on. No turning back. Nope. The red outline area on the minimap indicates the battle site of battle. Holy guacamole, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Check. This doesn't look too good. Bring it on. Yeah. Alright, where's Gladios? Gladios. To succeed, we need oh, he got him. <laughs> right, let's try this one. Alright, he's vulnerable to that. Not so much that one. Woo. Let's try Javelin. So he's vulnerable to great swords. Going for it! Oh dang, that hurt. Oh, that hurt worse. Okay. Somebody needs to get Ignis up. Ignis! Get up. After this, you better cook me up a feast tonight. No, nope. Ignis. Oh, wish. Kind right. of you. We're sorry. Ignis! Everyone All right, Gladios is down. Right here. That sucks. Because he's basically our big fighter guy. Oh, that's not good. Like, whatever that was, that was not good. Oh! I don't know what that was, but that was awesome! This can't be. Alright, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Did I mention this was bad? Oh, right. I should probably use something. I think there's a better way to do this. Order. Wait, no. No, no, stop it. Alright, I forgot the button. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna die. Oh! What was I thinking? I was thinking I was... If Noxious Maximum HP drops to zero, he will fall in battle and the game will be over. When his HP reaches zero, immediately use a recovery item to rejoin the fray. Tactical menu. Ah! That's what I was looking for. Brings fallen party members back to life with full HP increases recovery rate. half of HP. Let's just use one of these because everybody's down. Oh, it's. I thought it was supposed to restore everybody. Crud. Not good. Also not good. I didn't actually think I was equipped on that one. Crud. We're doing horrible with this. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. 
Alright. He's only got, like, a little more health. Dang it, man. Every time he hits me, I'm just going into, like, the dead mode. And I'm spent. Whew. I guess we, I guess I landed that last hit. By the way, that jerk reporter totally knew about that. No way he didn't. That had to have been a setup. I'm not happy about this. Alright. I'm not feeling very powerful yet at the moment. <laughs> oh man. Where is this thing? This thing is so far away. Wow. The color's amazing. <laughs> oh, oh. Gee. What? We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. What? Um. Um. Right. Sure. This looks like a good spot to end the episode before I go and get myself killed from the giant behemoth bird that we saw earlier. Um, so we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Hopefully we don't die. Peace!